Hey, I'm Nick with OnlineBusiness.tv, and in this video, I want to show you some examples of Kajabi courses. Uh, we moved from Teachable and using that for our course platform with one of my businesses to Kajabi, and then I actually moved another business that I have online to Kajabi as well and had uh, different courses in there. And it's been a great move. Loved, uh, we have loved Kajabi. Teachable was good, but Kajabi offered us a lot more, and I talk about that more in a video that I'll link up in the card above as well as in the description below about Teachable versus Kajabi and why I switched. But in this video, I just want to show you kind of a behind the scenes look at some of our courses on the Kajabi platform so you can get a sense for what it looks like. You know, what does it look like for the user? How does that look and feel? That's one of the big reasons we switched to Kajabi. But also, what does it look like as the course creator and you're building it behind the scenes in Kajabi? So let's jump in as I share my screen here. And we're going to take a look at a couple different courses this is one and I, and as you'll see a theme a little bit as we go that I feel like they get better and better as we go because I'm going to show you this course which is one of our most was one of our most developed courses in that it has more than just video content it has lots of files and downloads and documents and things like that but you can see you got a banner up top um, a, you know button to start the course here's the introduction we used a, the same graphic as kind of like the main featured image for a lot of these sections. So in this introduction section, we have four different modules, so to speak. And so if I click into there, you can see up top, if there was a video, it would play here. But really, this, is, this section is all about just this content right here. Now, if I click to the next section, it does have a video. So if I hit play, you know, that video will start to play. And you can see that right there. So it just I love the container, the video container, the fact that within a category you can go right from one lesson to the next, which I think is a great thing. But let's go back to another section, like here, session one, video downloads. Now you can see this is where we're not up on our game because we don't have that little description. We don't have it here. So it's just blank, right? Now this just doesn't look good. I don't know if you're like me, but uh, I like for those things to look consistent and look good and all that and so we need to fix that so here's here's the video with this session session one looks like it's gonna have a little delay there starting over here are some downloads so you can see we got some downloads there some PDF worksheets a resource document and then here in the description there's a lot of content as well and you can see people can comment here at the bottom which is great we don't get a lot of that in our courses we do have a community for our members we get access to all the courses and people will comment there but for the most part, Facebook has been a better, a Facebook group has been a better community for us. So that's that course. Now, if we jump behind the scenes of it, this is what the new uh, Kajabi course builder looks like. Their goal was to kind of simplify it, streamline it. So you can come right here and kind of collapse each section. Or if you, know, you want to get into session three, you can expand it. I could click add content. Is it a new subcategory is it, or is it a new post? So in that way, it's, it's kind of like a uh, post in WordPress if you use the WordPress blog because there's categories and then there's posts within there. And that's a little different because in WordPress, you know, those two are related, but they're not subcategories. It's not like a hierarchy. And here in Kajabi, it is. You've got one section, you can have a subcategory, and then you can have posts or what they call lessons on the front end within there. And if I just click on this to edit it, you'll see that and if I go back, so this is what it looks like behind the scenes. Go back to session three on the front end. This is what it looks like to someone using it, right? They see it like this. And on the back end, it looks to you like this. So it's, it's pretty similar, right? You can see the title. You can see what category it's in. Right here's that video. Over here's the thumbnail. So that's what's showing up. You'll see in some of our other courses that we don't use the graphic, the image anymore. We just let it pull from the video, which I actually think is a better look. And you'll see that in a moment. You can have comments on uh, hidden, locked. Here's that description box, right? And then here's where we uploaded all of those files. You just click Add Files, hit Choose. You can get them from Dropbox, Google Drive, a link, uh, your computer, anything. And then Kajabi has automations where you can, you know, make other things happen as somebody watches this course. Like they finish this session, and then automatically they get this email, right? We do that. I'll show you that in another course that we have. So that's one course there. 
I'm going to jump to this course. It's very same uh, kind of look and feel, right? Like it's not that different. Header up top. The graphic is what's featured on all of the things, uh, all the lessons, which, I, again, I think I like having the video preview more. So we'll, we'll look at that here in a second. But this is going to look just like the other one did. You know, you can hit play on the video here. We've got our my instructor information there. And look at that. I'm wearing the same shirt. Who knew? How funny. Um, clearly, I don't have a diverse uh, wardrobe, which I don't. Um, so it's just I just had a quick blurb here. So I didn't need a full description here. And this was it didn't even have any downloads. So if I go back, meet with leaders, I don't think there are any downloads here either. Yeah. So this course is mostly just these videos. But if I jump to this course, uh, this one's a little more developed. It has, I want to say 10. Yeah, it has 10 sessions. And then in each one, you've got a video and the downloads for it. And then you also have, I recorded this course live. And so it has a separate Q&A. And I wanted to you know, separate those two. So obviously, it was one video. When I did it, I did it on Zoom via webinar. And then afterwards, I edited the Q&As to be a separate video and then even put what the, Q, the questions were down here. So if you, you could read that real quick and see, do I even need to watch this Q&A video? Are they going to cover something, you know, that I care about? Uh, and here you can see, again, a main video, uh, downloads over here, you know, checklist, a website checklist, some slides, the workbook, the whole deal. Um, I did the slides different in this video, so I actually put them using Ecamm Live, which I'm using right now to record this. I put them on the left here. And then we got some downloads, but then I also had the Q&A, like I mentioned. But then I did a video just reviewing websites. And I kind of do that here. There's another video I'll link to up above as well as below, reviewing some Kajabi websites in case you want to use Kajabi for your, your actual business website. But that's what I did here. And again, just include that video right there. Pretty easy. And behind the scenes, you know, again, it just looks the same. Click on session that wasn't session three, was it? It was session two. And if I expand it, you can see all three videos, all three sections or lessons right there. And right there's that website reviews one. And then the last one I'm going to show you is probably our best course in terms of it has the most content. It, I think it looks the best. And part of that is because, I, I mean, I like that we use the banner up top with the same image from the course. I like that we're letting the video thumbnail be the preview here as opposed to just seeing that same course graphic over and over again. And if I click on one of these, you know, the video's right there. You can hit play. That's my friend Kenny. Right below here, we have both of us on the instructor side. We've got some information. We have a link here. You can go right to, it's one of my, one of the things I like about Kajabi for courses more so than teachable and some of these other options. I just love the container and the view that presents the course to you. You can jump right from one video to the next. There's a specific video container with the downloads and description and all of those things below. I just think it creates a great look. Now you can see we did use the course graphic on some of these and that's because there's no video. So if I go into here, workbooks, you can download the workbook by week or you can just get the full thing you know so if I click on that link it opens up I can pop it open right here as a PDF so if I'm taking the course I just click right in there and bang here's the PDF with the workbook for uh, that week we created this in Canva which when I I'm gonna create a video about that as well and I'll link that in the description in a card when I do and I just, I just think it's easy, right? So if I'm taking this course, it's really easy to sit there and watch the videos, download the resources, and it just it just looks great. And this, this course has, I don't even know, 40 lessons maybe, if you're counting like workbooks, video lessons, certain days didn't have a video lessons. This is like a challenge, it's a 28 day challenge. Uh, in fact, it was inspired by many of the, like the seven day green smoothie challenge, if you've heard of that or you know, just different fitness and nutrition challenges that are out there. We created this course, and we call it a course, but it's more like one of those challenges, a 28-day challenge, 
And so it has a ton of content because there's something for every day, even though every day doesn't have a video. We only did kind of video content four days a week. And then um, the other days, it's, it's just an email or maybe a document or something like that. We did a Q&A when we launched this. Um, we did Q&A calls twice a week, actually. And when we do big launches, we'll do those again. But we you know, kept the recordings in here for people to check out if they want to come back to if they missed it. Or maybe you're taking the challenge six months later, but you really want to jump in. You have questions about week one. You can go watch that Q&A and hopefully your question gets asked. So there's four examples of courses that we've created in Kajabi. Uh, we are not the best at, you know, the look and feel and I don't know, making them really pretty. We want to certainly make that better. You could tell it got better as we went through there uh, from course to course. I really like the video thumbnail, you know, showing up instead of just the graphic repeating itself. But I love the, the behind the scenes builder for Kajabi is really simple, really easy. Probably my only complaint is it seems like it takes forever to upload a video, um, which is true of a lot of places, you know, but it's uh, it does take a while. So if you're going to upload a large video file, you know, you probably want to be able to do that and then work on something else and then come back and hit save. But one of the great things about it, one of my favorite things, is the bulk video uploader. So, uh, you know, even that course right there, for example, we uploaded, I think, a week or more videos every time. So I didn't have to sit there and wait for each single video to upload. What you do is you just you know, pick eight videos, hit upload. They all show up in one kind of section, one category, right? But then you can just easily drag them to other sections and kind of create you know, your lessons in order. So that's a look at a Kajabi course. If you are thinking about starting using Kajabi, uh, you can check out my link here, onlinebusiness.tv slash Kajabi. That is an affiliate link. I do get a commission if you sign up through there, but I'll also give you some free coaching as you get started in Kajabi and try to help you however I can. Uh, as you probably saw looking behind the scenes there, I'm certainly not an expert. Got some things to improve on our Kajabi platform as well, but if you have any questions, I'd love to help you out with that. Even if you don't use my affiliate link, um, you know my recommendation is the same. I do think it's the best platform out there. They keep innovating it, and I primarily switch to it because of courses. So if that's what you have and that's what you're or that's what you're thinking about creating, uh, Kajabi could be a great a great resource for you. I'd love for you to answer this in the comments below. Do you use Kajabi and do you use courses? And how do you like it? Like is it something you like? Is that why you switch to it? If you don't use Kajabi, why not? You know, what do you, what do you use for a course platform? If you haven't created a course yet, let me know that in the comments as well. And if this video has been helpful, give it a like and hit subscribe. I'll be sharing more content about me bumbling my way through uh, online business and uh, courses and memberships and niche sites and all the different things that I'm working on. And I'm not coming to you like, you know, some uh, eight figure guru or something like that. I'm coming to you as someone who's, you know, just been taking swings at it, learned a lot from mistakes, probably learned more than I actually implement, which is like my biggest fault. But I'd love to help you out along the way. Just hit subscribe and you'll see more videos about creating an online business.